Hello everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the eye beast, a figure that in a previous video you didn't choose it, but because I like it, I choose to paint it. If you have seen some of my previous video, you will have noticed that I have many problems painting eyes. So I choose this mini to practice myself. So let's get started. We remove the figure from the box and then we clean the mold lines. This figure was a bit tricky. He has not at all any flat surface, so it needs more time to be cleaned. With blue tack we can mount the figure on a core cap. This will help us to paint the mini without touching it. And as usual, grey primer to the mini. I covered his eyes with muscle. I discovered that this step is a bit useless and I'll show you later why. With blue tack again I covered his mouth. With this I prevented to paint the inside of the mouth, very important for the later shades. The main color we are going to use as a base coat is light sea blue. With light sea blue and angels blue one to one, we start building the shadows. To do that as nice as possible, we are trying to spray from down to the upper part. With this way, the paint goes easily to the recesses where we want to shade. Now, with Light Sea Blue and Angel Blue 1 to 3, we are going to make the harder shadows. Careful, the harder the shadows, the less you paint. This time with deep sky blue we are going to paint from the upper part to the down part so as to create highlights. Then with sky blue we create the second layer of highlights. With no effort at all I remove the blue tack. I applied a thin coat of Dracu Violet, mostly in the parts that it's going to be shadowed. I applied Blue Violet to the mouth as a base coat. Because I wanted to create contrast, I painted the tongue with ochre. Also with blue violet we are going to paint the gums.
with bone white and a very little blue violet, we are going to build the first layer of base coat at the teeth. This combination of the colors will create a very nice result. With brown wash and transparent red, we are going to wash the inner side of the mouth. With the same combination, we are going to wash his gums. To create a bigger variation of colors on the mini, we apply randomly green shade. I highlighted the tongue with moon yellow. With squid pink I made soft highlights to the gums. At the details that are already highlighted, we are going to dry brush them with amethyst purple. Then with sky blue, we are going to give a touch at the edges. The two things that we have to be careful is the eyes and the teeth, because these two cut up the eye when you see this mini. At this stage we proceed with bone white. With ivory we will highlight the edges of the teeth. With a very little warlord purple and with more glaze medium, we are going to make a mixture that will leave a very very thin coat at the teeth. With details like this, you give realism to the fantasy. With a toothpick, I removed all the muscle from the eyes. That is why it was useless to protect the eyes with muscle. All the eyes that I couldn't protect with muscle, I base coated again with white primer. The main characteristic of the primer is that it is very strong and covers all the color above it. So every possible blue shade covered with white primer. Here we are at the main characteristic of the figure, the eyes because except from the main, all the other eyes are very small, I'm going to create a big template to see all the details I will do. Ok, we start painting the outline of the eye with dark earth. Try to not paint it at the center of the eye because it will look very awkward. With scarlet red, we paint the iris. With moon yellow, we paint some stripes vertical to the eye. With flat black, we paint the pupil. And finally, with transparent red, we normalize all the work we made. Let's go back to the mini. We start by applying dark earth. Scarlet red at the iris. 
and also we will create some veins at the edges of the eye. Stripes with moon yellow. Black to the pupil. And finally some transparent red. I used the same combination of the colors to the rest of the eyes. When our paint job is done, we apply gloss varnish. And now to the base. We start by base coating the base with dark earth. Then we dry brush the stones with ice yellow. A bit of dark sea grey And finally, a small knife that it has, I paint it with steel and rust Let's see what we've done That's all for today I hope you like it. You can always comment, like and all this uh, stuff. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.